We are not entering a recession. We are currently in the greatest depression in American history. It's random facts inside my brain where basic life skills are supposed to be, and you're not going to want to miss this. In 1933, the United States was in their worst financial and economic disaster in history. You may know this as the Great Depression. 1933 was the worst year of the Great Depression, where 25% of Americans were unemployed, and those that were able to retain their jobs had to take a pay deduction of nearly half. Those that remained employed made an average of $4,200 a year, according to the IRS. So I don't know if you've ever used the Bureau of Statistics inflation calculator, but it's this nifty little tool that nerds like me that are into true crime and history and facts like to use to see how money has changed over time. So I went on over there and I plunked that on in, and $4,200 in 1933 would be the equivalent of $95,000 today. So in this country's most perverse and destitute time, these citizens were making what would equate to $95,000 today. So what does that mean for you? Well, that means if you are not currently making six figures, you are doing worse than someone in the Great Depression. Subsequently, you would need to be making $150,000 to $200,000 a year to be on track with where the average American was prior to the start of the Great Depression. Now, I don't know about you, but I sure don't make six figures. I don't even think I know anybody that does. So we all know the Great Depression was this terrible time where people couldn't afford their houses and had to move in with their parents and downsize, consolidate, so on and so forth, similar to what's happening right now and today. So I was wondering what the cost of a house was in 1933 that the people could not afford their houses. So I did some research, and a new house in 1933 cost an average of $3,900 which was less than the $4,200 a year they were making after their wages were cut in half. The average house in America currently costs $436,800. The average middle-class American makes about $50,000. That would equate to 11% of the cost of the house with their entire yearly income. Keep in mind, many Americans are working two and three jobs to make that $50,000. So we are not in a recession. We are currently in the greatest depression in American history.